Hello friends, back again. This time we got a uh, smoke on tour DVP weekly finals. We made an extra shine and a uh, white queen, um, my Asia and Shark's teammate. <laughs> and there it is. Um, he's changed teams for the tournament. Um, he's used like Skull Tentacle, which beat Big AC, and uh, he beat me in like round four, I believe. So he's coming through basically. Meanwhile, extra shine is the same team of the round or the tournament. Um, pretty much coming through his Lana Mass, Miggle team, whatever. It's kind of a weird team, as you'll see in a bit, so let's get started. Um, White Queen is, in fact, using the same team. He's with uh, Philip 706 in the uh, match I played a couple, uh, I guess it was a week ago or something. But, yeah, either way, um, it's uh, the Dust Mulan and stuff. It's kind of weird, but either way, uh, this is obviously a bad lead match of Extra Shine, except for the fact that uh, he has a Skull Smeagol, <laughs> nice innovative set, which uh, cripples the Infernape, and now, obviously, if you get, like, a 2 to 3 turn sleep, you can be in a huge edge, you can stop self and stuff, so... Good for him. Um, he's gonna go to Dragonite now, and uh, unfortunately for him, White Queen does get lucky, gets out the first turn away, gets self lock up, and uh, yeah, it kind of sucks. But um, we're using Dust Noir now, which is not eating up this particular meter very well from Life of Dragonite. And uh, yeah, I'm not sure why he's out here, just because um, minus two Draco meter will kill this unless he gets like super min roll or something. But uh, because it should do 36 percent, he's at 34, but it's whatever. So Kings gonna come out now, and uh, here just a view of a choice specs Kingdra, which is like a meter. He's out. Put it for him. Um, Sizzle's gonna come out now, go for the U-turn. And from that damage, you can tell it's not CV Sizzle. Um, probably, it's probably Choice Scarf. Um, might be SD U-turn, but that's kind of an uncommon set. So, probably Scarf Sizzle, if I had to guess. So, Infernape's gonna come out now. Um, he's gonna U-turn out, and now he'll be able to do this having Scarf Infernape as well. So, he has Scarf Smiggle and Scarf Infernape, which is pretty solid for him. And, uh, yeah, still me obviously not know, uh, White Queen did not know that, um, Infernape was Scarf, so I'm to pump anyway. Um, he really should look, look at extra shine's lead plays and found out the sets, but it's whatever, I guess. Trying to be more noble, but fuck that. Anyway, um, can you set up, obviously? He's gonna a cover here, but, um, judging for the Dragon Paws damage, I'm pretty sure Jacob Miller killed it anyway. <laughs> if Dragon Paws is 77, yeah, Jacob Miller killed it, but it's whatever. So, um, Sun is almost dead now, and now he's gonna put that zone, which uh, is also not eating up this very well. Um, 3 HKO, pretty solid. Um, just a good leftover to main to extra shine, doesn't have to worry about some land mass. Um, cut stab, man, his own whatever, which is kind of a common set, kind of the TV lock or whatever. But either way, um, Dragon's come out now, kill it with Fire Blast. Solid for him. And now, what Queen's gonna reveal the uh, Flygon, which probably is Choice Scarf. Um, and it is for my video or whatever. But he looks for Outrage. Um, I know he has Stone Edge, because he used it in my video or whatever. But, um, he probably should have used that. I'm not really sure why he went for the Outrage. Um, I mean, the Steel type was kind of obvious, because his team's so weak to Dragon in this metagame, you kind of have to have a Steel, so I'm not really sure what he's thinking, but whatever. So, it's going to come out now, and, um, still for the U-turn, um, I guess that's fine. Bullet Punch will work too, but I guess U-turn is fine too. Did kill Madness Zone, that's awesome now. So, bring in a Furnape, and he's going to go for the, uh, U-turn, which is all, that, that I don't even agree with. Um, he probably should go for Flare Blitz there. Just because he did everything, um, 2 is killed in Flurnape, actually I think it 2 is killed, I'm not really sure, but he has Flygon, kills Stormy, obviously kills Sizzle, um, and he wasn't gonna go in Flurnape anyway, cause he used him kind of obvious, so, either way, cause this is just lacking up more stealth lock damage on the Infernape, and, um, it's kinda not a good idea when you, when this, his only way to win basically is to, um, weaken this thing with priority and hazard, so I'm not sure why he, he went for the U-turn, and Flare Blitz is a much better play, honestly, cause if he killed Sizzle, um, the recoil wouldn't really matter either way, and that's slightly cool again from um, killing like Stormy and Flag on Blizzard anyway, so I'm not really sure what that was about, but whatever. He's gonna got his own Sizzle now, which um obviously gonna be White Queen Sizzle because it is a lower health, so that's why he turned out now, um, because it's Scarlet Sizzle. You know, bringing the Infernape, and uh, he doesn't feel the vacuum wave, but it's pretty good for him because that means um, he has a decent chance to win this because um, vacuum wave plus bullet punch can um, kill the uh, Infernape at uh, 50%, which it will, which will be at after the hazard, so. Good for him. Um, what Queen's reveal is, I mean, Extra Shine's reveal is last now, which is the Gengar. And, uh, th this, is, this is probably the most electrical team in existence. No resist and nothing. Everything is destroyed by electric types. <laughs> Wanna go agility, Zach, though. Wanna like go agility on just, sweep just sweeping teams out here. <laughs> but whatever. Anyway, um, Gengar's gonna come out. And, uh, yeah. It's obviously Sash, because it's, it's just a lead one, so. Hopefully he's gonna take this thing out. Pretty good for White Queen. And, uh, yeah. And now, actually, look at, now Extra Shine's gonna bring in the Dragonite. Go for the E speed, but uh, obviously it's kind of obvious. So we're going to switch out second still. I mean, we're pretty good for him. Um, now I can bring in Sizzle. Go for the bullet points, take it out, and uh, yeah, pretty good for him. Um, I guess he didn't go for the E speed because uh, 
I'm not really sure. I mean, it's kind of obvious, but not really a game of going to be speed anyway, but it's whatever, I guess. So, both of them take out the Dragonite, and now, um, now it's 50-50, basically. It's going to be against Smeagol, and yeah, that's that. So, basically, uh, here's what happened here. White Queen, if White Queen watched, um, Extra Shine's lead plays, he would have won this game, basically, because, uh, in his earlier games, he did reveal that he has Explosion Smeagol, which means that he has no HP investment, he's in fact max attack. Which means that um bullet points is like eighty six to like one oh one or whatever. So he's a pretty he's a very high chance that kills a bullet point. So obviously if you watched um the lead plays, bullet punch is the best play. But uh because he didn't, it's actually fifty fifty. Um if he stays in, doesn't kill it and he gets up stealth lock, he loses because um Infinite will die stealth lock and uh fly got without play but two and so will this. So basically he can't really do that. So um and also if he goes to spoil here, um if he goes to full heal on the Infernape switch, uh, White Queen loses as well. So that's that. Uh, basically, now it's a mass 50 50 right now. Um, and yeah, once again, if he watched the lead plays, he would have known that um, Bullet Punch would be able to take it out. Because uh, Skull of Miracle runs max HP standard because they don't run explosion usually. So he, he caught that probably. And, and like the max for that, it's like 80, it's like 70, 88 or something. It's a pretty low chance to KO. So that's probably why he decided to switch out here. As you will see, uh, yeah, he switches out, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> what extra time makes the best play goes to stealth lock, and now he basically wins the game. And uh, yeah, once again, if, if White Queen just managed to watch this nigga's lead play, he would have won. But um, unfortunately for him, he did manage to lose 50-50, which means that unless White Queen can quit the um Infinity with bullet punch, he's gonna lose. Because now Infinity put a stealth lock, I was gonna kill. It doesn't really matter. But he's gonna come out, go for the flip, but take this thing out. And now it's just Sizzle's bullet punch, which uh, obviously it cannot take this thing out with a crit because um, it is Sizzle, Sizzle, but it's pretty much weak as hell, so <laughs> that's that. And uh, yeah, um, Extra Shine man barely managed to survive the coil, and uh, yeah, it's going to be that. So I'm going to get Extra Shine when DVP smoke on tour coming through out here. And uh, yeah, that is why this is why you watch the opponent's lead plays, even smoke on tour. So uh, yeah, I'm glad you that. And uh, yeah, peace, friends, but we out here.